Okay, the second installment of uh, Haxco Hefty G differentials. This is the early model, or at least from the two that I have, 104040. And then this is the improved model, 204040. And a few of the internal parts are interchangeable, uh, including, I think, the input drive, the bearings in here, this whole stack, and the bevel but then the cross gear that carries the, uh, the, the cross shaft with the bevel that goes across here and takes the input is obviously a fair bit wider in the new case where they enlarged the case halves and uh, integrated also this element into the main casting here. So there are fewer seals on the new case and it's a bit wider. Uh, the diff itself with the spider carrier in the center is identical but the uh, little stub shafts that drive these output flanges are not quite the same even the output flanges i think are very slightly different dimensionally but assembly and assembly is the same they both seem good i'm ultimately going to use the the newer of the two for this tractor but uh and this is not actually a breather it's just there to remind me that i need to get a breather for it. The old one has a poppet style expansion breather and a cap here and the new one just has one hole for a, so I gotta go get a, one of those snifter type breather things. And then it hangs from the tractor from these four bolts and uh, these are just spacer cylinders that keep it at the right depth below the plate where it hangs right here from these four holes, two, four, and then drives the half shafts there. The discs, brake discs go in the stack, and uh, brake caliper is just barely visible there. I'll take another video once it's all back together. But that's about it. It does look like the, uh, the second version of the diff is a little bit more robust, and in my case, the first the older one seemed to have damage on the input shaft, so we're going to put it on a shelf. Uh, Jan Gordon, if you actually need a diff, you can have this one probably. Uh, voilà, c'est tout pour l'instant.